Good evening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> that was a bit weird and that sounded a little bit culty, but that's okay because cults are just... Ah, stay there. Um, because a cult and the word cult only triggers you if you have negative connotations, which most people in our collective do because most experiences that people have come back with from cults have not been wonderful, but really a cult is just, it's a collective, right? It's a culture, it's a culture. It's a group of people believing a thing, gathering collectively around the thing, and it doesn't have to mean anything. It doesn't have any meaning except the meaning that we give it. It doesn't have to mean anything unless we decide that it means something. I actually kind of love the word, and I always joke that I'm gonna start a cult, because I love the idea of building a, Building a collective and a group of people. If you don't know me, you probably don't know that one of my favorite things in the world is humanity. And like this idea that we are, well, obviously we're all connected, but like breaking down the barriers and the illusions of separation between human beings. Like I literally do these things all the time where I go and talk to strangers. Um, I've done a series of social experiments where I've like given out free hugs. I've talked to people on the street. I'm doing one at the moment called the Humans of the Northern Rivers. I've started an Instagram where I just literally interview random people and it's for me as much as for everyone else, but mostly for me, like the fascination, this fascination that I have with breaking down the barriers between like two people, like strangers on the street. And I love that you can go from someone being a complete and total stranger. And this is coming from someone who was like terrified of strangers for so long um, to just like falling in love with them just so quickly. Um, when you see like, I don't know, when I see something about them or when I see when I like see them for who they really are and you can, I connect with them on something. It's like, oh my God, two seconds ago, you were someone that um, my brain was telling me that I needed to be like aware of and scared of. And now I'm like in love with you. And it's just, it's a really cool transition to make in five seconds. <laughs> but seriously, um, I wanted to talk about something and I feel like I said something about it in that last sentence. Yeah, it's social experiments, it's breaking through the illusion, it's having the courage to talk to strangers, it's like doing those little weird things. This is one of those things where I've written a blog about it. If you guys haven't read my blog, go over to jshafer.com, but I talk about the experience of it on there, of going from like so, being so, 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 so scared of talking to other humans and being so terrified of like what they would think of me to then connecting and dropping in with people. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna say. I wrote this thing today and it was, you need to stop looking in order to see. There's a thinker for you. But I was thinking about and playing with this concept of the difference between looking and really seeing something and or someone. And what I've noticed is that if I'm looking for something or like looking, oh yeah, this is huge, okay. If I'm looking for something in the world, then I'm seeking, which is buying into the illusion that there's something outside of me. In order to see, see someone for who they truly are, see a situation for what it truly is, see an opportunity, see an example, even see like a role model without like, um, pedestaling them or creating like a golden illusion, golden shadow of illusion of fantasy around someone or something. You have to, you need to stop looking. You need to stop thinking along the lines of, or thinking that there is something outside of you in the future, the past, in someone else that you cannot find within yourself. Because if you're looking for something, if you're looking to get a need met, if you're looking to source validation, if you're looking to, like if filming this video, if my intention was like, I want to get a million like likes and I want everyone to follow me and I want it to be this, like, I want it to go viral, right? I'm looking for something. I'm looking for you guys to validate me. Maybe because like I can't validate, couldn't quote unquote validate myself. And I've done this hundred percent. This is like a lot of the intention behind a lot of my videos. Um, like when I started, cause I didn't know any better. And it's just, I think how we all start out. Um, if we can't, yeah, if we can't self-validate, it is, it is really huge. Um, the alternative and where I come from now is like, okay, so I know I value what I'm saying. 
I love what I'm saying. And I know the truth is what I'm saying. Or I know what I'm saying is the truth. And from there, the only reason that I would show up and do it is because I love it. Because I freaking love it. Because I love being myself. I love experiencing myself like this. I love the experience of showing up and filming this video and these videos. And the experience of consistency. I love that it creates like a a force field or like a, a vortex around me when I show up consistently. I love that I experience and explore new parts of myself when I turn a camera on. And I love that I get to like experience. Yeah, I love the freedom, the freedom of self-expression and something new like comes out every time I do one of these videos, things that like surprise and delight me. And it's like, Wing! and I love the sound of my own voice. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I hear God in my voice. Um, I've actually got a bit of a tight throat right now, so I'm just going to breathe into that. Cool. I'm grounded again. Um, but yeah, like if I'm looking for something from you guys or from someone that I'm like sitting across from, then it prevents me from seeing them. Like if I'm sitting across from a man and I'm looking to him to validate me or to love me, like love a part of myself that I, ha I haven't loved yet, then I'm not seeing him. <laughs> I'm just, I'm looking at him, but what I'm getting feed, like the feedback loop that's happening is like, he's either feeding back what I'm perceiving is he's either rejecting me or accepting me. And then I'm either making that mean that I'm acceptable, this part of my, this is how weird this is, I'm acceptable because he's accepted me, or I'm reinforcing the belief that I'm not acceptable and therefore continuing the, the cycle of self-rejection because I believe that he's rejecting me. And this is how most people do relationships, right? It's like fucking wonder people, like the, you think the divorce rate's high, I'm like shocked it's not higher based on how I've seen people navigate relationships and how I used to navigate relationships. I'm like, how do people stay together for 30 years? Like, oh my God, this would drive me fucking insane. Um, but this is literally how people have relationships, just like with projection, 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 projection off of each other. And then they keep like missing each other and there's just miscommunications, triggers, wounds, blah, 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 blah. and then like escapism into like, no wonder people want to escape. No wonder people cheat. No wonder people develop addictions. No wonder people like have like eating, like overeat and like indulge in food and emotional eating. Like it's just like, of course, a fucking course because you, you just, you're craving like, and I've, yeah, I'm, I think I can even experiencing this now to an extent, like craving that real juicy longing and like longing for that real juicy deep connection and all you're getting is like feedback of your own wounds and triggers um yeah it's wild so when you stop looking and you just accept that okay everything there's nothing lacking here right there's nothing lacking in me there's nothing lacking in you some of my favorite things to say at the moment is just like okay there is nothing lacking in this situation you miss nothing when you realize there is nothing amiss Seriously, there is nothing lacking in this situation. Every situation, that's like always the truth. Um, there's nothing lacking in you. But if you believe that there is because of something that's happened for you in the past, <laughs> get it, for you, not to you, then you're going to go looking to fill or like bridge the gap or like fill the lack. And then like you're never going to find it because it doesn't exist out there. It exists here, here here and so yeah you, you you miss yourself like you do and that's why people feel so disconnected from themselves like you miss yourself um you know how people say like i miss you this is why like i honestly i don't miss people anymore it's weird but it's also not it's also the way that it's meant to be we we don't like we're always all connected so there's really no like why would i miss someone like that it's just, even when someone dies, like I think there's a quote and it's like, just think that of me as like, like I've gone to the next room. But even like the two people that I know that were really quite, were really close to me and still are my grandma and my auntie when they passed away. Like I don't miss them. Even their physical expressions, like 
mm, I don't, we didn't have a lot, to, like we didn't physically spend a lot of time together as I got older, but even then I don't miss them because all you're really missing if you are creating the illusion of missing someone or the illusion of loss is that what you thought they did for you or what you thought they provided for you, some like hole that they were like filling, uh, some, well, I'm getting the image of like a, like a cotton bud shoved in a gaping wound or like shoved in a hole like a gauze you know like plugging a hole and yeah you miss people when you can't see them like you get what I'm saying like yeah you miss each other if you can't see each other and you miss each other when you're looking for each other Stop looking. <laughs> like, stop looking. Stop looking for the other person to validate you. Stop looking for the other person to tell you that you're okay. Stop looking for the other person to encourage you. Stop looking for recognition in other people and the other person. You're it. You are your own source. Validation, approval, recognition, sense of achievement, sense of love, acceptance, complete, unconditional, total acceptance, radical, wild, unbelievable, unconditional acceptance and love. You are the source. I am the source of it for me. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. And then I actually see myself. And I see you. Who you really are. And who I really am. And that's where intimacy can begin. Self-intimacy and then intimacy with another. is a beautiful thing beautiful beautiful thing all right this was fun um come and do god school i'm gonna put the link to book an application call below i'm also gonna start taking on one-on-ones like very very select few people not working with self-avoidant humans only humans that are ready to go deep access the alien nature and really like yeah bring forth what is within them mm yes so good so so good message me via the link below and um we'll chat about whether you are the right fit for this work and whether you're ready to come into a relationship with yourself <laughs> like deeper than you've ever known amazing it's gonna be so it's so good you guys like so 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 good all right i love you and i will see you in my next video Come join God's school. It's going to be great. I love you guys. Bye.